Welcome to 50 Ways to Succeed at Work, where you hear stuff about ways to succeed even the most well-intentioned colleagues, advisors, careers officers and HR departments may never get around to mentioning. This is episode 20. Make space. Give other people the psychological space and confidence they need to be seen and heard. Deirdre sits patiently in the meeting, waiting to speak at the organization's annual gathering. She's been preparing for the right moment for two weeks and is looking forward to presenting her suggestions for a problem facing the organisation. Then she hears... Well, I hope everybody found today interesting. Thank you all for coming. So, I'll summarise where we've reached. Our first concern this morning was... Deirdre's moment has passed. The meeting ends without her contribution. For the rest of the week, she keeps thinking about what happened, or in her case, didn't happen. On the phone with her sister... She shares her distress. Mary, why did I fail to tell them my idea? Dee, for heaven's sake, people often fail to speak up. I read somewhere that 40% of people estimated they wasted two weeks or more ruminating about problems about which they stayed silent. I think you missed a feeling that it was safe to speak up. That's partly true, Mary. The conference was rather intimidating. I don't feel safe speaking up even when they're called for comments. Well, there you go. When I mentioned your experience to my friend in HR, she said that lack of psychological safety is a common cause for people not speaking up. Now let's relate Deirdre's experience to your search for success at work. When it comes to speaking up, people at work seem to have three main questions. First, why is it essential to encourage psychological safety in the workplace? Secondly, how can I contribute to creating psychological safety at work? And thirdly, how does a lack of psychological safety affect me and others and their performance? First, why is psychological safety in the workplace important? Mainly because it encourages people's willingness to engage. When there's safety, people speak about potential disasters. They collaborate more freely. They feel more able to think the unthinkable and challenge the status quo. Organisations need this kind of information to adapt and prepare. Google research confirms that great teams need to establish psychological safety. When their members feel safe, it's easier for them to participate in team meetings, solve problems, collaborate on projects and relate to their customers and peers. Putting this slightly differently, safe teams inspire employees to be fully present at work rather than dozing off or counting the hours until the workday is over. An inclusive workplace culture depends on psychological safety. It inspires creativity and ideas. People must feel safe expressing themselves. Otherwise, it will result in some sort of punishment or criticism. Creating a psychologically safe workplace is one of the best ways to inspire others to brag about you. When they're being treated right, team members, for example, naturally gush about how excellent someone's work performance is. When team members feel psychologically safe at work, they're also less likely to leave. After all, why leave a company that respects you and makes you feel valued and safe? Next, how can I contribute to creating psychological safety at work? Well, live by the simple rule that there's no such thing as a stupid question. Do your part by respecting and encouraging colleagues to speak up and reject negativity by others who denigrate or mock the questioner. You can help create safety for others by reacting to their crazy ideas, mistakes and occasional lapses of politeness through listening and people will feel safe around you if you're not overcritical or unforgiving. The price for that is poorer relationships and a more challenging work environment. Five simple steps you can take to contribute to psychological safety are raise your self-awareness about it, show concern for team members' need for it, actively solicit questions, show value and appreciation for people's ideas, and finally, engage in positive dialogue and discussion. You can contribute to psychological safety at work by ensuring that you listen with respect and never fail to ask questions if you have concerns. And lastly, 
How does a lack of psychological safety affect performance at work? As Deirdre in our story found, without psychological safety, she lost out on her chance to shine and share her ideas. An unsafe, unsupportive, don't speak up culture is not much fun. In such a hostile environment, there may be fear of taking risks. Innovation declines and talented people become demotivated. Safety builds employee engagement, which directly affects individual work performance. Crucially, psychological safety also creates a climate of sensible risk-taking. People feel pushed into new challenges, and if they feel short, they know that people won't point fingers or call out their mistakes. Instead, they'll flip blame on its head and ask questions. So what action am I proposing? Watch out for the obvious and less obvious signs that someone needs psychological space right now. If a colleague says they're busy, be understanding and offer to return later. At work, you need mental and physical space. Be sure to seek it out. And my takeaway from all of this, there are increasing demands for flexibility and readiness to change at work. These make it essential to respect others' need for space, for time and for space for thinking, and an awareness of the importance of psychological safety. You've been listening to an episode of Andrew's 50 Ways to Succeed at Work. For more episodes, subscribe free to my regular weekly podcasts. You can catch up on past ones at the 50ways.site, where you can also become a Foundation member with access to e-learning units, further reading links, and the forum where you can ask questions, share problems, and join a growing community of people who seriously want to succeed at work. Now there's a new book and an audio version called, you guessed it, 50 Ways to Succeed at Work. Buy it at Amazon or the 50ways.site. Unmissable. Thanks for listening and bye for now until next week.